Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here. So today I'm going to do a quick comparison between the LG G5 and the LG G2. So I got this request if I can do a Geekbench 4 um, and I said sure and I assume there are some people out there that still have their LG G2 and you're considering uh, getting the G5 and you might be wondering what are the difference uh, between the numbers with the Geekbench 4. But before I do the test, let me go ahead and jump to uh, CPU Z here and let's go ahead and take a look at what's under the hood on both of these devices. So with the LG G2 you're getting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800. This also has the Adreno 330 and two gigabytes of RAM. Now with the LG G5 you're getting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 so that's one of the best out there. The Adreno 530 and four gigabytes of RAM on the G5 here. So let me go ahead and just clear out all recent apps on both of these here. Now, I also wanna make sure that battery saver mode is completely off on both of these here. So battery saver mode is off. So uh, just keep that in mind. It is 12%, but the battery percentage or the battery saver is off on the LG G5. Now, the LG G2, I got the battery saver mode off as well. So um, it should be no issue running this test here. So. Let's go ahead and go to Geekbench 4 here. So we're going to go ahead and run both of these here and we're going to see what we get. Now I should also mention the LG G5 is running Android 6.0.1 and the LG G2 is running Android 5.0.2. So, you know, a little bit of a difference there with the uh, software. And um, of course, screen resolution, there is gonna be a difference. This is 1440 by 2560, and this is 1080 by 1920. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and run this Geekbench 4. Here we go. Now, since we got Geekbench 4 now, um, I've noticed this test does take a little bit longer than Geekbench 3. And um, so I might have to pause this video kind of at some point but we'll see here so far it looks like it's kind of speeding up pretty good there we are at 33 percent on the lg g5 44 percent and then on the lg g2 we are at 33 percent there so all right maybe this won't take as long as i thought you know um in my personal opinion, these are both great devices. I absolutely love the LG G2 when it was released. I think it was a great device um, of you know of its time, you know, definitely. And it's still a great device if you own the LG G2 and your device is still you know in pretty good cosmetic condition like mine is here. It still runs like a champ. You know, there's really no need to get rid of this device unless you want to upgrade to. Um, the LG G5 for just a little bit higher bump up in the specs and uh, better software. All right, so not too sure what happened here. It says render script score 6,173. Um, so uh, let's see, let's go to compute here. So as you can see, 6,173. So um, those were the results that I did get. Um, Normally there's two types of results you get on this test. Let me go ahead and bring down the screen brightness there a little bit so you can see better. But you can see. All right, everybody. So I did the test a second time around and LG G2 single score 984, 2443 multi-core score. And the G5 takes it for the win with single core score 1684, multi-core score 3175. So those are the results. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.